Well, a sad day for sure as a great voice has been silenced. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Radcliffe. Aretha Franklin has died at the age of 76 after a long bout with pancreatic cancer. She passed away this morning at her home in Detroit. So glad you're with us here for our five o'clock news. Leslie Draffin is on assignment. She's out working elsewhere right now. As millions mourn the loss of the singing legend, the same emotion is being felt throughout Central Texas. All day Aretha Franklin tributes, of course, played on local radio stations in our area. Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell caught up with a local pastor and a radio host in Waco who spoke about her influence on the American uh, culture, the African American culture and her church and effects around the world. Well, soul music to the African American community is what a needle is to a pen. You can't have one without the other. Not only is Aretha Franklin a legend from coast to coast, she's a cultural icon across the world. Put you up. Carlton Stimson is the pastor of Open Door Church of God in Christ in Waco. He says when he first heard the song Respect by Aretha Franklin, it motivated him. Hearing that song right there, growing up black in the hood in South Dallas, when you heard Respect, that, 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 that right there was just something that was special. Aretha Franklin died at the age of 76 from advanced pancreatic cancer in her hometown of Detroit. Stimson is also the host of Gospel Inspiration on 94.5 The Beat. He says even with major hits like Think, Natural Woman, and Chain of Fools, the undisputed Queen of Soul is also a gospel legend. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on. So she's very inspirational. Uh, not only to the church, but in the secular society. She was just, really was a queen. From dancing with his parents to listening to eight tracks at house parties, Stimson says Aretha Franklin's music has always been a part of his life. From a child to even now, it's just like long after she's gone, her music will linger on because it inspired many people. August 16th is a day that the world will remember the Queen of Soul and the King of Rock and Roll. On this day, 41 years ago, Elvis Presley also passed away. Reporting in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News.